What up? It's your boy T Bro and Reaction and Days Music Monday. About to get into some Dooji Furio. This is pretty much some returning one as well, too. Since I'm liking a new concept, I'm going to check out some ones that he did read it of, the ones I didn't do in the past with a new concept as well, too. In case you wonder, man, he had to do a new con change his concept a little bit. You know, you she been lately on his on ABS as well, lately, though, with the whole um with the copyright and, and all that as well, too, and kind of interfered with his uh process as well too she had to so he had to change up a little bit and um and this is a go comment so like like he still showed the samples but he does a little commentary on it a little, a little reaction to it as well too just to you know to make sure to give him give so he so he can be at it as well too i'm saying so and i like the new concept he did with the copy one so i'm definitely gonna check this one out as you want to check out look at large professor top hip-hop samples of all time you know large professors one my is a well-known legendary producer one of my favorite i, I came across as well to to first came first got known by part of the uh okay, main source main source and then being the pinnacle of of the uh launch of one of the the uh, premier mcs of all time nas as well too being one of the four the fat four plus plus more of the production team for nas db alba illmatic along with dj premier q to pete rock and the fifth the fifth man off the bench les Else, been as well as too, and about many other production tools as well too, production um credits as well too. So what for do you want to check out large professional top hip hop samples? Let's get it. If you haven't already, just follow this man, DJ Fury. Yo, man, he's a dope DJ and definitely a dope producer. A lot of insight on his production as well, too. Definitely been a little inspiration and a little, you know, a little helpful with my production, my my beat making journey as well, too. So, yes. Even if it's just a hobby. And like I said, you always hard to dress. Dress. again with another Fiorio Watchers video. This one all about the great MC and producer Large Professor aka Extra P. Been in the game a long time, known for making his beats on an Emu SP1200 mm -hmm. sampler, was part of the group Main Source, great MC, great producer, he's worked with a lot of big people during his career. He's also appeared on the Rhythm Roulette series on mm -hmm. YouTube. If you've not checked that, definitely look that up. Give that a listen. Definitely was a cool so episode. this video, I'm just going to be showing a handful of some of these. Definitely, and I would say definitely a cool episode because he like kept it like gutter and basic with it as well too. Not like a computer work. All uh, NPC at the time. I think he used NPC, SP as well too, but yes. Best productions during his time. Reminder again, five years since I dropped my very first album on Bandcamp. Check it out. So for a limited period, I'm giving that album away for free. There's a link in description to view it, download it, keep it forever. I've got six albums out in total, so you can have a check of the others whilst you're on there. Anyway, let's jump in. Let's listen to what the first track is. Oh yeah, Nas. Wait a minute. It's probably Nas, y'all. Uh, in our tale. Michael Jackson sample there, great use of two different parts of that track on Naz's debut album Illmatic. That album is still one of the standouts from that era, from the 90s. Absolutely amazing album, one I still listen to on a very regular basis. So I just like what he's done with the samples there. Chop them up, one part of a vocal that's chopped up, other part more of a straight up loop. But really, really well use of a sample there. Let's see what the next one is. Where's good, 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 large sample? Hey, yo, swing, swing, swing. Mm -hmm. Chop, chop, chop. Yo, that's the sound when MCs get mucked. 
Bro, yeah, it's ubiquity, dad. I gotta say, re re looking at the uh, Midnight Maruda album, and you get Aki, it's crazy how you even recognize more and more got artists that's on that uh, album cover as well, too, with the headphones or not with the headphones, but still in general. Though, like, I'm, I knew the Beast Boys on it, but I ain't I, I realizing what we watching that they all was in the same little section right there on the, on the um right side of the album of the uh the the uh mascot lady they used to use. Yeah, that was the name of his band that he put together in the seventies. Did ten different albums, but Roy Ayers himself has done so many albums. He's very very heavily sampled in hip hop. Facts. Some great tracks of his have been sampled. The Dark Tribe Called Quest album, Midnight Marauders, another classic mm -hmm. 90s album. The bulk of that album was produced by Tribe Called Quest. That particular track, not only did it feature Large Professor, but he's down as the solo producer on that particular track. So a lot of people think the whole album was a Tribe Called Quest. It actually wasn't. There's a few tracks on there produced by other different people. But really great track, that one. Oh, yeah, I forgot the name of this song, but it's one of those well known tracks. Yeah, yeah, I just want to chill. chill. Yeah, Milt Jackson, absolute legendary jazz musician, put out nearly a hundred different albums, worked with some greats as well Dizzy Gillespie, Charlie Parker, John Coltrane, many, many others. So that's one of Large Professor's own tracks. Mm -hmm. A few other people have also used that track to sample from that Mill Jackson. Pete Rock, CL Smooth have used it. De La Soul have used Ooh, it. Oh, okay. So it's a very popular track, that one, for sampling from. I just like how Large Professor's used that one, though. Really upbeat track, head nodding track, definitely. So let's see what the next track is. Oh yeah, half time. That one to me is absolutely genius sampling. He's taken that sample, filtered it right down to remove everything apart from the bass. Mm -hmm. If you do listen closely though, you can very, very faintly still hear the lyrics where it's saying, don't walk, keep out, red light. Mm -hmm. So maybe listen on headphones and you will notice those very, very faint vocals on there. But such an absolutely amazing sample, that one. It appeared on Naz's Illmatic album in 94, but on the Zebrahead soundtrack two years before that in 92, that's when that track was actually first released. So mm -hmm. yet another collab between Naz and Large Professor. Oh, I think it was a Coogee rap, I forgot what this is. Yup. So he this is very nice. Fatback Band, been sampled quite a bit. One of my favourites is Most Death Mathematics, that's sampled from them. So this track, Large Professor's got a co-producing writing credit on this. Cool. It was one of his very first productions back in the Oh, oh that's, that's crazy. The very first thing he did was for Eric B and Rakeem. But in the same year, so one of his very, very earliest Oh, he did Eric B and Rakeem join. Cool G Rap and Polo, another great 90s group. Put a few albums out together. And obviously Cool G Rap has also had his solo career still going today. Mm -hmm. So let's see the next one. I forgot to say, it's a remix, but I forgot what it is. Yup, Common Sense, yes, yeah, what it is. Resurrection Remix. I like news on Remix, but I forgot what it was, yup. So, Spirit, they were a rock group started in the late 60s in California, Los Angeles. Common Resurrection Remix. Mm -hmm. He actually did two different remixes at the same time. Mm -hmm. He did that Extra P remix, and then he also did a Large Professor remix where he sampled David Axelrod. Mm. So I'm pretty sure I've shown that version of it on another video recently. In fact, I'm sure they have because I've mentioned that Common went originally by the name Common Sense. And then there was a reggae group, also called Common Sense, who sued him for copyright of that name uh, and forced him to drop. Shout out to my man, DJ Field, dropping some, some 
education right there. So I was always wonder, I always knew, wonder about that. So that makes sense. Okay, always wonder why he dropped the sense off that joint. Okay, that made a lot of sense right there. <laughs> I remember so that made a lot of sense. Okay, that explains a lot right there. Wow, I didn't know that was the reason why he dropped it. Drop the sense off the end, and from then on, it's just gone by the name Common. Oh, what time for your mind? Jimmy Gordon and his jazz and pops band. One of the members of that band was Tom Scott, who's got a very famous sample. Ooh. He was sampled on Troy, Pete Rock, and Oh, wow. So, yet again, I was that a lawyer. between Large Professor and Naz on his Illmatic album. He just managed to get some of the world's top producers at the time to put that album together yep. for him. And I think that is why it stood the test of time mm -hmm. so well. Some absolute classic tracks on there. Hey, Lord. Crush, Stress Crush, remix. Crush, kill, Crush, Crush, kill, Ronnie Law's tidal wave sample there. Been sampled quite a lot of times that track. Probably another famous use of it is Black Moon, who got the props. Mm. So the organised confusion track. That was Pharaoh Mantra's original crew with Prince Poe. Prince Poe. Started off under the name Simply Two Positive MCs, and Pharaoh Monch was actually just a beatboxer in there. Mm. That changed, he became an MC, and then they did change the name to Organized Confusion. The Large Professor Drops remix me. there, he completely changed Get the style right of that track. If you listen to the original version of Stress, it's a mm. really dark sounding track. Yeah, it is. He's completely the... flipped that around made it into a really upbeat sounding head nodding track. So another example of his great production skills there. So let's check what the next one is. What you need to do is give faith. Take your spiritual out of the put it in the higher place. Cause I'm gonna bring out the Holy Ghost in it. Carla Blay, jazz musician from Oakland, California. Done over 30 albums. Mad Skills track, produced by Large Professor. Extra Abstract Skills, so Extra P, which is Large Professor. Abstract, which is Q-Tip. Mm -hmm. And then Skills, Mad Skills. Of course. I really like some of the Mad Skills stuff. Well, I course, also man. like that he stopped doing the series now. But yeah. he did the wrap-up series yep. on YouTube, where every year he would freestyle over the top of a beat talking about all things that had gone on during that year mm -hmm. but real comedy style absolutely ripping some of the people and some of the events that had taken place mm -hmm. a lot of you will have heard that but if you've not look up skills wrap up series on yes. youtube you won't be disappointed bobby james yes sir Not fiction. I like the. I thought about that. Yeah, not fiction. That's a good way to spell it. James, what can I say? One of the most ever sample people yes. in hip hop music. Been used on. I mean, you know, we lost a mind, man. You know, even though he's another one that if I if I hear anything about him, we heard. So many different tracks. Very very famous tracks. The non-fiction track. Again, produced by Large Professor. Mm -hmm. Nonfiction was the group that Ill Bill was in, one of many groups and crews that oh, he was down okay. with. Little more recent than some of the others, they've been mainly 90s samples so far. This one, 2002. Mm -hmm. Simple, but good track. <laughs> Is this Nas, you know, man? Yep. Knock me out the top of the game, but I understand they truth is all lame. I hold cannons that shoot balls of flame. Ernest Gold, Austrian born composer, was actually the yeah, first composer house. to have his name in a Hollywood Walk of Fame back mm. in 75. Did lots and lots of different soundtracks during his career. This is another example of Large Professor and Naz still working together. 
So from his first album to this Stillmatic, which was his fifth album, this great track, You're a Man. Got another sample coming up next, which is also off the same track, You're a Man. So let's have a listen to that one. Sugar Man. Yep. Won't you hurry? Cause I'm Sugar Man. Yeah, as it said on screen there, I really like the way he's cut that vocal. He's changed it from sugar man to you're a man just by taking that first part of the word away. Works so well and it's why I rate Large Professor highly as a great producer. Let's check the next one. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm back. Back. I keep telling you, though. I had to uh, take the little man out of the mom. My mom was here to pan the uh see him, so there we go. So anyway, ooh, let's keep going. So it's still moonlight moon moon glow. Let me I'm gonna go back a little bit. I I thought it was freezing for a minute, here we go. That's fine. Not so very different style that for the large professor to me that sounds more like that's a rizzo production mm -hmm. the track obviously features two members of the wu-tang clan on there which is maybe why he's gone down that kind of route but yeah if i heard that track on its own i would guess that the rizzo is the producer of that one not large professor right Works well, he's chopped the sample well. Great fit for that track. Lost Professor, your road dog. I'm old small, sleep a hell to see that we prevail over this nonsense. This world be bringing us still banging cuts. Nick the Exotic. Grew up with Large Professor and lived in the same building that so Nas did. Ooh, he also okay. featured on Main Source, Faking the Funk, oh. which Large Professor was a member of at the time. Great track, that one. I like how it's been chopped up. Yeah, because nice, I've got funky um, track. Works Lars, really well. With Lars was the only rapper of that, of that group at the time, though. That particular so. sample. Love don't work, what will money do? I'm gonna need that G pickup truck, color honeydew. Get some of my boys, Benny Bush, and Ayo, what's up? Great sample from David Axelrod. As I said, he's been used many, many times in hip hop tracks. The Yellow X track as well, but that's Jada Kid. Little kind of request, a little bit, hopefully, ain't too much, but should do a Griselda Griselda sample. Compilation video that'd be pretty awesome, right there, too. Styles P, Chic Louch, much more recent track. This, I'm just trying to show the large professor is mm. still going strong to this right. day, still putting out some great tracks after more than 30 years in the game. Absolutely amazing producer. So that's it. That's the end of this particular oh, no. video. As I said at the beginning, this is just a handful of many, many tracks Large Professor has mm -hmm. produced during his career. I just wanted to show some of the standout ones, some of my particular favourites. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to do that pretty if soon. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Again, Download my free album. I've got Bandcamp. Cool. Check the others out whilst you're there. And thanks for watching. Cool. All right. This was definitely a good episode right here. Definitely this one too, though. I knew it was no. I was some of the. I knew some of the half of the stuff that Locked first did, and then I got to know the other stuff he did, including the later stuff he did as well too, though. But that we though he do a, like a Grizella record uh, compilation as well too. That'd be pretty awesome. But um, other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Always shout out to DJ Furio. It's your boy T. Bird signing off. One love.